Good morning and welcome to Random Familia. As promised, it's Monday and we're going to talk about health. I'm so excited. Why? Because you wouldn't believe what condition I was in just three weeks ago. Um, I couldn't walk from my very well, like without getting exhausted from my bedroom to my couch. And I'm sure everybody who came to my house just thought, does this lady not do anybody else? Not that they came to my house, but came to the door and, you know, because um, we can't have visitors here. But I couldn't. I honestly could not do anything else. They were, I would force myself to get up and make meals, but that was basically all I could do. Uh, in between, once in a while, I would be able to wash my dishes and... I would have to do that even in parts. I could not do that without becoming exhausted. And it was getting so frustrating for me. Not only for me, probably for my husband, but he continued to care for me and not uh, always show his frustration or show his frustration, basically. But point being is now I can walk far distances without being exhausted as long as I'm eating healthy. Now I'm gonna admit to you, this past week, um, because of the, getting to the grocery store wasn't as easy as I thought it would be, as right now we're only using one vehicle. And we were down to basically no groceries because my husband has been extremely busy. So we had two cheat days and ate things that weren't healthy. And that felt like, it didn't bring me back to how I was, but it did bring my energy level way down. Um, I just wasn't feeling my normal self. So, in saying that, I'm gonna get on now with talking a little bit about health. Now also, make sure you wait and watch this right through to the end because I have a very delicious recipe there. I'm going to show you how to prepare uh, spinach with cream cheese stuff. Cream cheese, I can't talk today. Cream cheese stuffed chicken breasts. It's so tasty, so great. So stay to the end and stay tuned and we'll get on talking about healthy eating. So as many of you may or may not know, Eating the correct foods is so important to being healthy, to having energy, to being able to function as a normal adult or a normal human being, child, adult, young adult, doesn't matter your age. Eating healthy is so important. Now, every body size, every person, every weight, age, everything determines how much you need of protein, carbs, and fiber. And one thing that we, that everybody needs to learn or should learn to do is to look at the back of their products. You see this here? It's a little bit out of focus. Um, but most of you will know, and probably a lot of you look at the backs of your what you buy to see at least how much sugar it contains. And maybe you don't care, so you don't look at it. And I, I was like that for a few years where I just couldn't bother to look at the back because I was just trying to survive. And that's all I was doing was surviving. I wasn't getting any beneficial food in my body or my family's body for that matter. And I suffered for it and they suffered for it. So make sure when you are um, going to buy something, look at how much sugar it has in there. You do not want something that has 30 or 20 or 15 grams of sugar in it. The lower the better. If it can be less than 6 grams of sugar, that is the best. Now, there's the odd thing that it's going to have a little bit more than that, but I would not go much more than 6 grams of sugar uh, with what you're eating. Protein. Protein is so important for the body. It does so much for your body, so much good for your body. It's not just when you're exercising. 
you need it because we burn calories as we sit doing nothing. So even as I'm just making this video and I'm just doing a little bit of movement, I'm burning calories. So if I'm burning calories, I need to eat calories, but proper calories, not empty calories, okay? So when we consciously think about what we're eating, it will help us so much. And, and I, I mentioned in my last video that I had gotten to the point of just hating eating. So not only was I eating the wrong foods, I just wasn't eating because I was tired of it. And that's not healthy either. People say that, oh, breakfast is the more, most important meal of the day. Well, it is important. Breakfast, lunch, and supper are important. Having a, a healthy snack in between meals is also important. Now, what you wanna do is you want to divide up the amount of protein that you have in your day. For me, I need 95 grams of protein a day until I start losing a little bit more weight right now um, maybe every time you, every week or once a month, you might see my face a little bit slimmer and different things, but I'll, I'll show you once I've done a substantial amount of losing weight, you'll be able to see it. And I will show you, uh, measurements or pictures or something just to show you that I am losing weight. But my most biggest concern is not losing weight. It is feeling good and feeling healthy. Now, as I eat properly, I will inevitably lose weight. That is what's going to be, to, to be happening. So anyhow, let's get on with this. How can we add protein to our diet throughout the day? Breakfast, cereals, mm, not the best thing to have. They are loaded in sugar and right there, that is bad for you, okay? So yeah, granolas, try some granolas. We found a new granola at um, Costco and it has, it has 12 grams of sugar for a two third cup of the granola. So that's not too bad only if that's something that you need to have once in a while. You want to change things up a little bit. Um, it's got five grams of protein for that. The carbohydrates are 21, not the best. So try to find things that are going to be healthier for you. Eggs and bacon for breakfast with some avocado on the side. Um, you can possibly, depending on your nutritionist, depending on your body's needs, you could have one piece of toast. Whole wheat toast is the best. So, but I'm going to give you next week, I'm going to give you more ideas of foods. At the end of every video, I'm going to have a recipe. It could be a supper meal a recipe, it could be lunch, could be breakfast, could be a dessert that is healthy. Believe it or not, there are desserts that are healthy. So I'm going to be sharing those as well. Now, I did show you this in my last video, but for those of you who didn't see it, uh, Premier Protein Shake, right? It's got 30 grams of protein, as you can see here, and only one gram of sugar, okay? Now, believe it or not, it does taste very sweet. And I thought there was some kind of added sweetener to it, but it, there's not. Um, but this has helped me substantially at being able to get enough protein into my diet. All right. So that's one thing. Another thing is Immunocal. Now you say, what is Immunocal? Because not a lot of people... I mean, a lot of people have heard about it, but not everybody has heard about it. I'm quite sure. So, it's in a pouch. It comes in a powdered form. If you were to eat this on its own or drink it, it would be disgusting. But what it is, it is a protein 
a whey protein isolate with bonded cysteine. It's a glute, glutathione precursor. Sorry, these are words that uh, are new to my vocabulary. Um, but in saying this and using all these words, right, wordy words, I'm going to give you, let you know what is beneficial about immunocal protein, whey protein, okay? Um, one thing that it is beneficial, I'm going to be looking at my notes every once in a while uh, because my memory is also just getting better. And that's another thing that was horrible. And it could be from my post-concussion that I, that I had or have, um, which is what my doctor thinks. But what this is going to do, it, it increases my or your, whoever's taking it, immune system. It helps build antibodies and it helps increase muscle strength when it's included with regular exercise. Now, I personally was not able to exercise. My doctor told me to start rigorously exercising and I reminded him the reason that I went to him to begin with was that I could not hardly even walk, let alone do rigorous ex exercise. So for me, when I'm gonna start exercising regularly, I'm gonna start out slow. I'm not gonna do an hour worth of exercising. I will probably do 15 minutes the first day, maybe the first two or three days and see how I feel. And I will build it up from there. And that is going to help strengthen my muscles. So those two things will add to your protein, but you need protein in every meal that you eat, plus the in-between snacks. You should have 15, well, for me, 15 grams of protein. For you, talk to a nutritionist and see what your body weight, um, with your body weight, what exactly you need, how much you should be taking. So I will add this to my coffee. If you like coffee sweetened, it's a good uh, replacement because you don't need sugar in it. And I and it gives you the protein that you need, or some of it anyhow. Eating nuts, uh, walnuts, peanuts, pistachios. Now pistachios has a wide variety of things that is good for. There is a variety of nuts, so if there's certain ones that you don't like, certain ones you're allergic to, you should be able to find at least one that you're not allergic to. Uh, if you can't, well, find things like this. Make sure there's not a lot of sugar in it. That is our, will have the protein that you need for that day. Now, along with protein, you need your vegetables, right? Especially your green vegetables. Your green vegetables don't have a lot of carbohydrates in them. So you can eat basically as many as you want. Uh, my When I show you my plates of food, the salad looks huge, right? But most of that is lettuce. And then I've got celery and cucumbers usually. And I add some cherry tomatoes and peppers to mine. Now that's what I enjoy. So you can look around and investigate different kinds of vegetables or lettuces. There's so much lettuce out there, different styles, different types. You investigate what is good. Iceberg is not the best uh, one out there. It's not, um, yeah, just look into those, those kind of things. Do some investigating on your own. Now, another thing I had wanted to talk to you about Well, for, for today, those are the things that I'm going to talk to you about, right? Next week, and then at the end of the video, don't forget, with our, our uh, chicken breast, stuffed chicken breast, stay to the end of the video, watch that. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, hit the noti notification uh, bell so that you can get more uploads. Every Monday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, you will see uh, my uploads of, of the healthy eating videos. Now... And the link below, what I'm going to do for you is I'm going to put the link of Immunocal. Now, this does not sponsor me. This does not 
give me any benefit except for I want to help you. All right. I don't make any money from it. Um, this also is not a sponsored ad. I, I'm not making money from, from showing you this. I just want to help you find extra protein to add to your diet during the day. Um, another thing is, so, so the link for the Immunicel is at the bottom. Another thing that I'm going to add is if you're interested, it's free. I'm going to add a link to my food journal that I created. Uh, below. It's free. It'll help you to journal your foods that you eat, how much protein, carbs, and fibers that you eat. There'll be a page for your measurements or your weight, however you like to uh, take, keep track of, of your growth or degrowth, whichever. Um, because this is not just for people who are overweight, hey? People who are skinny need to eat healthy too. Just because somebody is not obese or doesn't have excess weight does not mean they're healthy. You need to eat healthy no matter your size. Doing exercise is important no matter your size. So if you're not getting protein in your diet and you're feeling lethargic, you're feeling fatigued, good chances are it's the protein that's lacking in your diet. Now, now you can go and you can search, um, find proper websites to search about protein and you can verify what I'm saying. Don't take my word for it just because I'm here on YouTube talking to you about it. Always, always go and research what people are saying. Don't just take their word for it just because they're an uh, influencer. Listen to them and go and investigate to see what others say, what medical professionals or health professionals, nutritionists say about what I'm saying. Okay, so for me, if I don't get my vegetables as well as my protein in a day, I have my brain fog back, I am fatigued and lethargic, and I, my energy level is just way down. So make sure you get those. Now, maybe you weren't as sick as I was sitting and laying, not being able to really do anything. Um, but even if you're fatigued and you just want to get that metabolism back, get that need of uh, being able to get through a day possibly without having a nap. Um, some people just need them, it's just the way it is. And, and that's okay, there's nothing wrong with that. But change your eating habits, look into things, investigate. But mm, there's so many things out there that are gonna lead you in the wrong direction as well that are going to cause you to become possibly more unhealthy instead of healthy. You don't wanna go on a fad diet. That's not what this is. This is a changing your eating habits, changing your lifestyle, okay? And this is a lifelong thing. It's not a, um, oh quick, I gotta lose some belly fat because I'm gonna go to the beach. Well, it's COVID, right? We're not gonna be doing that. You just wanna be healthy regardless, okay? So I'm gonna stop babbling. But remember, stay tuned for the chicken recipe. Okay, we're going to make chicken, spinach stuffed chicken breast today. And I preheated the oven to 400. I'm going to stuff it with spinach, a little bit of mayonnaise, parmesan, like fresh parmesan, and spinach salt. And I will add a little bit of um, garlic to it as well. Mix it up. I didn't let it sit at room temperature a little bit more long enough, so just let it be at room a little bit at room temperature. And then we're going to slice open each chicken okay, breast. Okay, so before I add my seasoning, I slit open the chicken breast. And then I will add the seasoning. which is Montreal chicken sauce. A little bit of salt. And we're 
we're going to do both sides. Okay, so after squishing it down, mixing everything together, we will stuff the chicken breast. Okay, each of them are stuffed. There's only three of us eating today, so I've only made three, even though I have a little bit extra stuffing for other ones. We now put them in the oven for about 25 minutes until, or until they're fully cooked. I put parchment uh, paper at the bottom just to make sure that they don't stick. Finished 